السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بشال صدري وسيل يمضي وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي So welcome Ayub I welcome all of you to the class of Hidayat Nahu And today inshallah ta'ala we are going to start lesson number 8 So out of 56 lessons right there I believe 56 lessons we are in the lesson number 8 at the Sultamin. Now we are going to start Al-Malfu'at. Last time we talked about, you know, uh, the uh, the signs, the Empasha, Ghair Munsarif, what are the reasons of Ghair Munsarif? And we learned about Adl, Wasf, Ta'neet, Ma'rifa, Ujma, Jama, Tarki, Waznul Fa'il, Alif, Al-Nun, Nazayit, like anything having these things uh, will be a diptote. Now he'll talk about marfu'at. Al-maqsadu al-awwal fil asma'il marfu'ati. The first aim is a nominative noun. Maqsad is the goal. That's how it divides, right? Wa hiya thamaniyatu aqsam. Marfu'at means what? It is eight types. Eight, eight types of marfu'at. Which means which has a dhamma, right? One dhamma or two dhammas at the end. Or it could have a vow and alif unknown. Like for Jama Mudaka Salim Muslimuna, there we won't look at the Fathas, we look at the wow, uh, the, the wow, the wow, like right, and then we look at uh, Alif in duels and noon in verbs, like yeah, Yadhabuna, Tadhabuna, and so on. Alamatul Rafa, the signs of being a Rafa, no? Dhamma, Dhamma one, you can remember Dhamma one. Uh, Dhamma, as well as Wow, Alif, and Noon. These are the Alamat or Rafa. This is in plural nouns. <laughs> this is in dual nouns or verbs. Uh, dual nouns and this is in verbs. Dhamma is in normal stuff. Okay, let's see all the three, eight types. And the one is al fail the fail, the verbal subject, the fail. The second is al mafulu ma'lam yusamma fa'iluhu. The object whose ob subject is not mentioned. That is passive, no? Passive. Passive. Uh, then al mubtada wal khabar. The you know subject and predicate are also marfu. Dhamma dhamma, right? Mubtada khabar. Then you have inna khabar of inna. Khabar of inna wa khwatiha. Not the first word after inna, the second word. Like inna Allah ghafurun. So ghafur uh, will have. Dhamma. Uh, Ismu kana. Kana Allahu. Kana al baytu. Ismu kana wa khwatiha. He'll explain all of them separately. Huh? Madhfuat. The Ismu of ma la mushabbahitaini bi laysa. So they are la mushabbahitaini laysa, which means la like laysa and ma like laysa. That's called ma hijaziya also. Like laysa. Ma ana bi ghafilin. So Ismu of that. And then predicate of la, la nafiyatu lil jins. La illati li nafil jins. La of class negation. So the khabar of la nafiyatu lil jins. La rajula fil bayti. So or la rajula talibun. The talibun is the khabar of la nafiyatu lil jins. So there are eight types of madhfuat. These are called eight types of madhfuat. Only eight. Mansubat are bigger, right? There are 11 types of marfu. Mansub, 11 or 13, I guess. 11 or 13. And so that makes 19, 20, 21. Yeah, some people say 11. So 11 plus 8 is 19. And two majurats. Two majurats, right? Mudaf ilayi and jal majur. Um, so 21 places of the language. Are eight malfuat. 11 or 13 mansubat. And then two majurat. So let's see about the fa'il. Fa'il. What is the fa'il? Wa kullu smin qablahu fa'ilun. Aw shibhuhu yaqumu bihil fa'ilu. And he says the verbal subject. So they translate fa'il as the verbal subject. A subject like daraba. Daraba hamidun, no? Daraba hamidun. So who hit? Who's the one who's doing the action of hitting? It is this guy, Hamid. So Hamid is called the fa'il, no? He's doing the subject, verbal subject. Now the subject predicate, the verbal subject. So it is kullusmin. The verbal subject is every noun having a verb preceding it. So he explains in a way, you know, every noun having a verb preceding, or verbs likeness. 
sometimes the small file and also can have a file right uh, action established and it is ascribed to it if you remember he talked about musnad musnad ilayhi musnad musnad ilayhi musnad means the news itself like um yani ascription is done through it and musnad ilayhi means like mubtada ascription done to it not through it to it if you don't understand like a musnad is the khabar the news which you bring all it is the fa'l the verb like the action or the news or whatever like hamidun uh hamidun fakhirun hamid is poor now hamid hamid uh, it's called musnad ilayhi you're making ascription to him like you're making it's not to him like you're joining something to hamid like hamid is poor and poor is musnad bihi or just musnad and that means uh musnad ilayhi and that is musnad and you're giving news through it so file is also musnad ilayhi I mean, file is just file, I mean, Zaid. But if you say, Ja'a Zaidun, you're making description to Zaid that he came. So you're, you're making a link, a link to Zaid. So it is Musnad Ilayhi, he says. Obviously, Waisnadu Ilayhi. Uh, verbs action established by ascribing the action to the verbal subject. You're ascribing the action to Zaid. Like Zaid is doing this. As in Khama, Mithl, Nahu, Khama, Khalidun. Khama Khalid. So Khalid is the file. Khalid, the name Khalid here, the person Khalid here is the file. You are ascribing action to the Khalid. So in Balagha, this is called Musnad and this is called Musnad Ilayhi. And just the term, yeah. So you're ascribing Khalidun Khaimun Abuhu. Now he gave one for fail Mahdi, right? Khalidun Khaimun Abuhu. So this is a way of Arab speaking. Khalid, his father stood. That means Khalid's father is standing. Right? Khalidun Qaimun. So this is the Qaim. So this is called Ismul file. And where's the file of the Ismul file? Is this Abuhu. And so Ismul file, Ismul Maful, and all that can take a file or Maful or whatever because there's a Mushtaqat. So Qaim is the Ismul file. And Abu is the file of the Ismul file. So because Qaim. Khalid is not standing. So this is a little confusing for us English people. But uh, yeah, Khalid, this is a way of saying instead of Khama Abu Khalidin, that would have been fine, right? Khalid's father stood. They have a way of saying Khalidun Qaimun Abuhu. That means Khalid, his father is standing. That means Khalid's father is standing. Khalid is not the one who stands. Khalid's father is standing. Ma Zara Saeedun Khalidan. This he gave one for negation. Saeed did not visit Khalid. Saeed did not visit Khalid. He gave one for negation. So he explained what file is everything which has a fail before it, right? He didn't give it, uh, or a shibhuhu, that is a small file. Or shibhuhu. Wa yusnadu ilayhi, and description is done to it. Wa kullu fa'lin la buddha min fa'lin marfu'in. And every verb, la buddha, it is a requirement for each verb to have a nominative subject. Every fail, wa kullu fa'lin. La buddha lahu min fa'ilin marfu'in. Every verb should have a fa'il marfu'. Right? Every verb should have a doer. Like, it cannot happen on its own. There should be every file should have a fa'il uh, should have a fa'il. Mudharan kana. It could be either apparent, mudhar, apparent. Like mudhar, zahir, it could be fa'il zahir. <laughs> like, for example, you can see it. Zahaba Sa'idun. Sa'id went or left. What about أو مضمرا or it could be a pronoun for example سعيد ذهب سعيد ذهب here سعيد ذهب now you can say سعيد ذهب سعيد is the file no 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 if you remember سعيد ذهب if you remember the file should always come after the verb it cannot be before so this is مبتدا and this is ذهب فعل Damir, Damir Mustatir Hua, uh, the hidden pronoun Hua, and it is Yadullu Ala or Ila Sa'id. It goes back to Sa'id, but Sa'id is not the direct file. Grammatically, it's just the way they say because file should come after the verb, eh? fail. It never comes before. We can also say Sa'id is the file here. In general, if you've not done Madina books, it might seem confusing, but yeah. Sa when you say Sa'id Dahaba, that means, you know, the file is Mudmar, Damir. 
وإن كان متعديا كان له أيضا مفعول به منسوب or it could have a if it is a transitive verb it will also have a مفعول به it will also have an object it says I mean, obviously it will have an object خالد زار سعيدا خالد زار سعيدا so here it is مدمر زار the file is a pronoun خالد right and it or مفعول به سعيد I mean it's fine here also it's hidden and it could also have a مفعول به منسوب مفعول به منسوب fine I mean that's obvious وكل فعل لا بد له من فعل مرفوع this is repeat I guess he just this is a mistake مظهرا كان نحو ذهب سعيد أو مضمرا نحو سعيد this is just a copy paste وإن كان متعديا كان له أيضا مفعول به منسوب if it is متعدد it will also have a مفعول به it's just a repeat نحو خالد زار سعيد so that is fine right that is fine that this is the file the doer it should be dhamma right marfu fine fine and it could be a pronoun also as he says it could be yani mustatir dhamir mustatir okay fa in kan al fa'il isman zahira now if it is apparent right we can see the noun like khali dhahaba khalidun wuhid al fa'il abada the rule is what the verb is always singular nahu darasa zaidun darasa zaidan darasa zaidun Z studied, two Z studied, all Z studied, many Z studied. Now notice here, the verb is always وحد الفعل أبدا وحد الفعل أبدا Why? The verb is always singular. Because the file is what? ظاهر or مظهر The verb is, the file is apparent. You can see it. You can see it. Now if you say دارسا Oh, I'll make the verb دارسا with an alif, there will be two files, no? the alif as well as Zaidan. And we did it in Madina books in book two. I think lesson five or something in book two it comes, Madina book two. And Darasu, if you use a wow and alif, two files will be there, the wow and Zaidun. Like in English, we cannot say they, Zaid studied, I mean they boys studied, the boys studied, we just said the boys studied. So even in Arabic, you cannot have two files, you cannot have an alif as a file, here, wow is a file and you cannot do that here. So, if the file is zahir, if the file is what? Zahir, you need to keep the fail muhid al fa'lu abada. The verb should be singular. The verb is always made singular as in darasa zaidun, darasa zaidani, darasa talibani, whatever. Darasa zaiduna, all of the zaid studied. Wa in kan al fa'ilu mudmaran. But if it is a damir, a pronoun, like it, if it is an alif or something, وحد الفعل للفعل الواحد. So if the file is dual, you'll keep it singular. Very simple rule this is. The verb is made singular for singular subject. زيدون دراسة. Right? It is damir now. The file is هوا, no? The pronoun هوا is the damir, the file. So زيدون دراسة. Zed studied. It is made dual for the dual subject. Like زيداني دراسة. See? Alif. Zaidani Darasa. We brought an alif. Why? Because this is a damir. The file is a damir. That is the alif here. The pronoun. The two Zaid said and made plural for the plural subject. As Zaiduna Darasu. All the Zaid studied. The wow should come. A simple rule. If you remember, the file is mentioned. You use only singular rape. And this is very common mistake which students do. They be like, okay, Darasu Atullabu. Oh, because tulab is there, no? Uh, it's plural. So you have to use the verb also plural. No. No. A tulab is there. So you have to say darasat tulab. The students studied. Correct? You cannot say darasu. They studied. The students. No. A tulab. No. Darasat tulab. Yeah, if tulab were not there. Right? Like daras. Like some. Dakhalat uh, tulabu wa jalasu. So I use singular. Dakhalat tulabu. And they sat, jalasu, and they all sat. Um, Madina Books has exercise also for this. Yeah, you can go back to Madina Book 2, Lesson 5, I reckon. 5 or 6, no, five, 4 or 5. I think 5. Mm -hmm. He just gives in arrows and explains like this. Huh? Now, that is done. Right? About the file, where, what? The file is always singular. The file is what? 
always singular. وَإِنْ كَانَ الْفَاعِلُ مُؤَنَّثًا حَقِيقِيًا Now the problem comes with feminine now. Huh? If it is مُؤَنَّث حَقِيقِي Real feminine. You know مُؤَنَّث حَقِيقِي uh, مُؤَنَّث حَقِيقِي and غَيْرَ حَقِيقِي or مَجَازِي That is real feminine. That is there is a dual partner of who, whoever is born. Right? حَقِيقِي Like a girl, a boy. You have opposite. Like the sun is feminine in Arabic. It is not haqiqi because there's no female partner no, of son. Uh, so if the file is muannath haqiqiyan, wa huwa ma yujadu bi izaihi mudhakkarun min al haywanat. And he explains what is haqiqiyan. If the subject is a genuine female, right? genuine female means real female, and it is whose male counterpart exists among animals. What is haqiqi? Wa huwa ma yujadu bi iza'ihi mudhakkarun min al-haywanat. Iza, counterpart, partner. Exists among animals, min al-haywanat. Unnitha al-fi'lu abada. Iza lam yaqa'il faslu bayna al-fi'li wal-fa'il. Unnitha al-fi'lu abada. The verb should be always feminine. Hmm. But if a separation does not occur between the verb and the subject, right? For example, نَحْوُ قَامَتْ هِنْدٌ Hind stood. Now see. قَامَتْ هِنْدٌ You have to ask two questions now. One, is Hind a you know, natural feminine? Is it a genuine feminine? Yes. Yes, Hind is a girl. I mean, obviously. It's a, it's a person's name, a woman's name. In. Is there a difference? Is there something between them? No. No difference. So these two questions. No, There's no gap in between. No, The word after this, this word is coming. So there's no gap. So it is mandatory that you have to use khamat, feminine verb. You cannot say khama, Hindu. Obviously, Hindu will slap you. Why are you saying khama? <laughs> I mean, she won't slap, but yeah. I mean, we don't know about Hindu, but yeah. Khamat, Hindu. <laughs> Hind stood. Why not masculine? Because Hind is a girl, no? And there's no gap between it. Right? So you have to use Unnithal fi'lu abada. The verb should be feminine, obviously. Like uh, Fatima too. Fatima went. So I have to say Dhahabat Fatima too. Illam yaqail fasnu wal fa'il qamat hindun. Wa illam yattasil jazat tazkiru wa tanir. But if there's, it is not attached, masculine and feminine is allowed. Right? Uh, if they are not connected, making the word masculine both permissible. Why? Why did the Arabs allow? Because it's coming late, no? It's fine. I mean, you can start with Zahaba, Al Yoma, Fatima too. Instead of saying Zahabat, you can say Zahaba, Al Yoma, Fatima too. Uh, he gives an example. Nahu Daras Al Yoma, Hindun. Hind studied today. Uh, see? Darasa. And this is masculine. Hindu will come and say, oh, brother, why are you using masculine? We say, al yoma is a gap, no? So Arabs allowed it. Because they want to start with general nouns, so use masculine and they start the sentence, al yoma hindun. So if Hindu comes and says, oh, oh, what is this? Why you use masculine here? It's fine because there's a gap here. Although Hind is a natural feminine, it's muanna thaqiqi, still it's allowed. It's chill. Hmm? The, hmm? Hmm? And if you want, you could have said right? You could have said if desired, you could have said because Hind is a girl, no? Use a feminine also. That's also fine. When, uh, the thing is, you can use masculine also. Hmm? And masculine also. Okay, fine. So you understood about Muannath Haqiqi. What is Muannath Haqiqi? Right? Which is a human being or an animal or whatever. Which has a male counterpart in the world of animals or living beings. Right? So two things. If it is attached, if it comes without any gap, you have to use feminine. If it is not attached, you have a choice. You have a choice. You can say Darasal Yoma Hindun, or you could have said Darasatil Yoma Hindun. Fine, I mean both are fine. وَكَذَلِكَ يَجُودُ التَّذْكِيرُ وَالتَّأْنِيثِ فِي الْمُؤَنَّثِ غَيْرِ الْحَقِّ Now it is not even a natural feminine. Right? Likewise, the masculine and feminine both are permissible for non-genuine feminine. It's not even, you know, a real feminine. Just, you know, sun. They made it, Arabs made it feminine. 
Mona Thamari, they just heard it, it's feminine, they better. For example, you can remember the example, it's easier to remember. For example, Talati Shamsu. Here, no need gap or no gap because it's weak. No, it's not even a natural feminine. So, I mean, Talati Shamsu, the sun rose. Wa in Shaita Kulta, if you want, you could have said Talash Shamsu also. I mean, if you want, you can say Talash Shamsu also. Now, why did you use masculine here? Right? So if someone comes and asks you, oh, what shams is feminine? Why did you use masculine? He said, this is rare haqiqi, no? It's fine. It's not a real feminine. It's, sun. it's not like it has a male husband, wife or what. The sun rose. Same meaning. The sun rose. But, but, but. But. Hada idha kan al muqaddiman al Here there's a condition. This is all okay if the verb comes before. There's a verb and the subject, right? Fail, file. But if the verb is coming afterwards, the fail is made. Because I mean ashamsu talat, because you it has to go back to something, no feminine. So you cannot say ashamsu tala. No. Hmm? Only option is if the verb started. Like this is the option which is allowed. But this doubt, when Jammu Taksiri Kalm Annati Gayril Hakiki. So remember, um, when broken plural is like Mu'annat Gayril Hakiki, Jammu broken plural is also treated like Mu'annat Gayril Hakiki. For example, you can say Qamar Rijalu or Qamatir Rijalu. You can say what? The men stood Qamar Rijal or Qamatir Rijal. Correct. This is a very common question. Like um, um Tilka Rusul. Why did it has why it does in the Quran in the third Jews, right? Third Jews. It comes as Tilka Rusul. Why not Ulaika Rusul? Why? Because broken plurals is many times treated as uh, one uh, feminine, singular feminine, broken plurals. Even in verbs here, right? So remember, this is gender problem. Gender. So you have to see two things now, right? No, we can summarize two things. One is, is it a natural feminine? You have to ask a question. Is it a fem natural feminine or artificial feminine? <laughs> if it's a natural feminine, you have to ask two questions again. Is it attached? Yes. So feminine always. Is it detached? And then you have to say, it's his choice. So gender, it's a munnaf haqiqi. If it is yani, muttasil, I mean, attached, muttasil, feminine all the time, like qamat, hindun, hindu stood up. But if it's detached, there's a gap, there's uh, you know, uh, munfasil. If it is detached, then you have a choice. You can do qamal yawma hindun or qamatil yawma hindun. If it is artificial feminine, you have to ask two questions again. Is the verb coming before? Hmm? Verb is before. If the verb is before, you have a choice again. Talatish shamsu or talash shamsu. If the verb is coming after, then feminine all the time. Right? Shams shamsu talat. Because it has to go back to something, right? So you cannot use masculine after that. And this is the summary of all the rules. Eh? This is the summary of all the rules. Right? Okay. For gender. For the file. So till now, what did we learn? File could be either Zahir, it could be either Mudmar. Or mudhar, Mudmar. If it is Zahir, he, he told us, right? Zahir. Uh, so, Wahid al fi'lu abada. The verb is always used singular. The verb is what? Always used singular. But if it is Mudmar, a pronoun is used, then you have to use, you know, for singular, singular, dual, duals, plural, plurals. I hope this is easy, inshallah, and clear. And for the gender, we've just looked into a gender problem. <laughs> um, because generally, it should have been male for male, female for female, case closed. But there are some exceptions they've given. Like for natural feminists, there's a gap. You have a choice. If for artificial feminine, you have a choice unless the verb is coming afterwards. That is the summary. All right. Now, let's he talks about. وَيَجِبُ تَقْدِيمُ الْفَاعِلِ عَلَى الْمَفْعُولِ 
إذا كان مقصورين. He talks about another case. What it is required to place the verb before the object when there are two maksurs now. You know, remember maksur, Madina Book 3, Lesson 1. Maksur means alif maksura. Ah, where you end the noun with ah, like Musa, Isa, Asa. All those names which you open your mouth. Yeah, alif maksura is ya without dots, no? Or, the, or alif lazim also. It could be an alif also. I mean, no, normal alif. Wakhif al And confusion is feared. Generally, if the endings are clear, like Daraba Hamidun Zaydan, you can put in any order, it's fine. Like Hamidun is always dun. So we know that Hamid is the one who's hitting Zaid. Hamid is hitting Zaid. If I say Daraba Zaydan Hamidun, fine, because I understand, right? I can see the endings. But for Musa, Isa, I cannot see the endings. Right? So there's confusion. So he says, Nasara, Musa, Isa. Uh, uh, Musa helped Isa. In the previous, I think it's Daraba. <laughs> they change into Nasara. Huh? So, Musa, Isa, you cannot see oh, who's hitting who. I mean, I mean, we don't know. So, in this place, you have to, this is the doer. This is the doer and this is the mafulun dihi. This is the subject, uh, object. Okay. And Nasara Musa Isa. So there is there is uh, doubt, confusion. Okay. ويحجوز تقديم المفعول على الفاعل إذا كانت قدينة توجب عدم اللبس سواء كان مقصورين أو لا. But if there's a Qadina, if there's some context, if there's some context, like uh, it is permissible to place the object before. So you can place Mafaulun before the file also if there's some Qadina, if there's some context, indication, which eliminates Adam al Labs. There's no, it eliminates confusion. Tu Jibu Adam al Labs. Whether they are Maksur or not, I mean, if they are, even if they are not or not. For example, what is the condition? How do you know? For example, Akalal Kumathara Yahya. Yahya ate a pear. Now, obviously, the pear cannot eat a Yahya, no? Pear is not a human being that it can come and eat. Correct? So, here it's fine. Here it's fine. Akalal Kumathara Yahya. So, we know that Yahya is the one who's eating the Kumathara pear. So, it's fine. You can put in any order of fine. Man. وَنَصَرَ خَالِدٌ سَعِيدٌ خَالِدًا سَعِيدٌ Here it is not maqsur. So he gave an example of not maqsur also. Sa'id helped Khalid. Sa'id helped Khalid. I mean everything is fine here. We can see who helped who and the endings we can see. So he's talking about the order. The order. Generally any order is fine unless this Musa Isa or maqsur noun. There you have to put the correct order. Verb, subject and object. We are so very simple order. Fail, file, and maful. Wayajuzu healthful faili. Can you delete the verb? Yes. Haythu kanat kharinatun. If there is a kharina again, there should be a context or indication there. For example, nahu sa'idun. Fi jawabi man qala. Like sa'idun in the reply who said man jaa, who came. So if someone asks you who came, man jaa, who came, you can say sa'idun. Said came. That means Jaa said now. Or you can just remove fail file everything and just say naam. Uh, for example, Men Kala Akama Zaidun. Did Zaid stand up? You can say naam. You can delete both of them and say naam. Or just you can reply fully also. You can say naam kama. I mean, this is fine. Obviously, this is this is some general rule. Yeah, you can delete. There's some, you know, this thing. Like, what's your name? My name is so and so. I can just say my name is Kashif. 
or I can just say cash or something. He'll repeat this rule in Mubtada Khabar also. It's fine to delete. al thani The second type. Let me see how much more is that. Because I... Oh, oh that's it. Okay, okay. We'll do the Fel Malam Yusama Failun also. Mm, lesson 8, yeah. Okay. I thought it'd be a long lesson. All right. Maful Malam Yusama Failuhu. That is naive file, we call it, no? Naive file. Every maful hudifa fa'iluhu. It's each, the object whose subject is not mentioned. Ma lam yusamma fa'iluhu. Wa huwa kullu maf'oolin hudifa fa'iluhu. It is every maful whose file is deleted, hudifa, omitted, elided, he says. Wa uqeem al maf'oolu maqamahu. And the maf'oom takes, maf'ool takes his place, right? For example, we have... Um, Daraba. I use Daraba. <laughs> they use Nasra, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Daraba Hamidun, they don't like hitting, so they changed all Daraba to Nasra. Daraba Hamidun Khalidan. Hamid hit Khalid. Now, I just want to say Khalid was hit. So I say Duriba. I change this to passive, right? Duriba. Give a Dhamma and second last letter gets a Kasra. Duriba Khalidun. So this is called Naif file or Maful malam yusamma file hu. Just a long name here. Yeah. Yusamma naibul file. It is also called naibu file. This is called because Khalid is not the doing action, is not the one who's doing the action. He's just receiving the hit. But uh, it's called naib file. That's why. Uh, and it's also madfu all the time. This is a second madfu. Nusira Saeedun. Saeed was helped. Nusira Saeedun. It is also called proxy subject. As in Nusira Sa'idun, wa hukmuhu fi tawheedi fi'alihi wa tathniyati wa jam'ihi wa tathkiri wa ta'anithi ala qiyasi ma'arafka fil fa'il. Its rule is a singularity of its verb and it's being dual. Yeah, All these rules, whatever you learn for fa'il, everything apply here. Plural, masculine, feminine is based on what you are aware regarding the subject. Right? So all the rules of feminine, like use this, use that, use this. And if it's natural, feminine, this, that. All those things, you can all those apply. You can apply to naib fa'il also or Maful malam yusamma failihi. Al khulasatu. Al khulasatu. Al madfuat min al asma'i thamaniyatun. Madfuat are eight. Eight. Wa naibu. It is fail. Wa naibu al fail. Wal mubtada. Wal khabar. Wa khabaru inna wa khwatiha. Khabaru finna. Wa smu kana wa khwatiha. Wa smu maala wa la mushabhataini bilaysa. Ma wa la which is similar to laysa. Law of Nafil Jins. Law of class negation. Then he explains the Ismun Al Failu Ismun Yakau Bada Faili no Shibihi Yakumu Bihil Failu is Naduile. It is a noun which comes after the verb or something which resembles a verb. And uh, the verb Yakumu Bihil Failu, the action is done with him or with her or whoever. Right? Because if there's no doer, the action is eliminated. Yeah? Like Daraba, hitting. If Hamid is not hitting, I mean, there's no one to hit, right? Why is not doing it? Is musnad ilayhi, and you ascribe action to it. Wahu ismun zahirun or damirun. That is a apparent noun, or it could be a pronoun. Then taanithu al-fa'li. Yajibu taanithu al-fa'li ida kan al-fa'lu muannathan haqiqiyan. It is mandatory to make it female if it is haqiqi. Aw majaziyan. Aw majaziyan. That means ghairu haqiqi. Aw muqtaqad diman al al-fa'l. Or it is preceding the verb. So he says what? Mwannat haqiqiyan aw majaziyan. It is mandatory for majazi also. Aw mutaqaddiman alil fail. Aw it is preceding the verb. Ashamsu talat. Wa yajuzu ta'anith wa tathkir the kan al fa'ilu mwannatan haqiqiyan mafsoolan. But it is fine for feminine and masculine if it is mafsool. There's a gap between this thing. Anil fa'ili aw mwannatan majaziyan. So this should not be there. There's a mistake here. Because we learned, right? Majazi, there's a choice. He says, Majazi, it is yajibu, mandatory. It is mandatory only in two places. One, one, the verb is there and there's a natural female. This is mandatory. And then, uh, artificial female is there and the verb is there. There are only two places which are mandatory from what we remember, no? All right. For others, it's choice. If there's a gap in Mwanda uh, Thakiki, it's a choice. I mean, you can do whatever. Um, and if it is artificial, 
if the verb is preceding the artificial غير حقيقي or مجازي that is مجازي is also the same as غير حقيقي مجازي you have a choice again طلع الشمس وطلعت الشمس but if uh, the verb comes after then you have to do mandatory so two place mandatory two places choice تقديم الفاعل وحذفه لا يجوز تقديم المفعول إلى الفاعل it is not how do you put it you put فاعل first مفعول first what do you do so it says لا يجوز تقديم المفعول المفعول should not come in for, uh, in front of the فاعل إلا إذا وجدت خلينا except there's a context which you can understand كما يجوز مع القرينة حذف الفعل وحذفهما معا like the uh, context helps us to um, you know you can delete the verb and you can delete the file also. Like if someone asks you, Aqama Zaidun, Naam, did Zaid stand up? Yes. Then you have Naibul File. Naibul File, Mafulun Uqima Maqam Al Faili, Mahadu. Naibul File is a Mafool, is an object. Uqima Maqam Al Faili. It, it takes the place of the file, Al Mahadu, which is deleted. Hmm? Like Duriba Hamidun. Hamid was hit. As Ila. Addidil Malfuat min al Asma. So what are the Malfuat? Eight of them, no? File. Maful, I mean not maful, sorry. Naib file. Maful malam yusama file. Then we have mubtada khabar. These are four. Uh, then uh, khabar inna ismu kana wa khwatiha inna wa khwatiha. Khabar inna wa khwatiha. Uh, ismu la uh, wa ma mushabbahataini bilaysa. Uh, like ma hijazia. And then khabar la, la li nafil jins. Eight of them. Four of them are important in that. Yeah, six of them are important actually. One is file, naive file, because they're very common, no? Muptada khabar is also obviously common. Khabar of inna is obviously, you know, and ismu kana, yeah. Two are not important. Arifil file, all the file definition, yeah. Uh, file definition is what here it is. Ismun yaqaw ba'da failin or shibihi, yaqumu bihil failu, yusnadu ilayhi, wa ismun zahirun aw mudmar. Addid anwa al faili. مَا ذِكْرِ أَمْثِلَةِ لَهَا And while file, what are the types of file? What? I mean, singular, plural, maybe he means that. Fine. مَتَى يُسَاغُ الْفَيْلِ مُفْرَدًا لِلْفَيْلِ Oh, and while file, maybe he means, yeah, ظاهر and مُدْمَر. Two types, no? We learn two types. ظاهر, مُدْمَر. مُدْهَر, مُدْمَر. ظاهر, ضمير, whatever. مَتَى يُسَاغُ الْفَيْلِ مُفْرَدًا لِلْفَيْلِ When is the verb singular? When the file is ظاهر. If you can see the file, always use singular verbs. Like, like, darabal awladu. Mata yutabigul failul file. When it is matching, when it is same, same file and fail. Give an example. So, if it is a pronoun, like, atullabu darabu, atullabu darasu. If it is the wow, no, wow should come. Because the file is not before, it's after. Very simple, inshallah. أذكر مواريد تاني تلفالي وتذكيره ما ذكر يمثلة مواريد I don't know what it means أذكر مواريد تاني تلفال Places of feminine of verb أو تذكيره or masculinity and give examples all those rules which we explain natural feminine this that all that conditions متى يجوز يجوز تقديم المفعول إلى الفعل When is it allowed to have مفعول before فعل when is it allowed? Well, anytime it's allowed, unless there should be some indicator. No, it's not allowed in maqsurain. Unless there's a qadina again, like kumathara, yahya, it's fine. He ate the pure. Can you delete the fail? Obviously, it's allowed. Again, qadina, context is required. Give example. Mata yakumul maful maqam al file. When does the maful takes the place of the file? Mamada yusama. It's called maful mala yusama file uhu no. It's called maful mada. Usku dalika maida di mithal. Duri bahamidun. Hamid. Nai file. This is passive. Mahua hukmu naibul file fitao hidi faili watat niati wajami. Same ruling. Yani nafsul hukm. Lil file. What are the rulings for naib file? Same. All those rules applied. استخرج الفاعل والنائبه والمفعول به في الجمل التاليه دي. So you have to extract file, نائب file, مفعول on the following sentences or the verses. كتب عليكم السيام. So كتب. Where is the file? There's no file here because this is passive. This is نائب file. نائب file is سيامه. 
fasting has been prescribed to you. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ Where the file? Nasru is the file, right? Anything else? Mafulumbi is there, naif file is there, no. So here, this is the naif file. This is the file here. Uzjil Musia Bithawa will Mohsin. I don't know what Uzjir. They give so difficult sentences. You have to open dictionaries. Zajala Uzjir. So maybe it's the root is Zim Zaj Jim Ra. Zajala is to drive back, drive away. So drive back these bad person by the reward of the good person. Okay. So where is uh, Musiya is the Maful and Bihi? Hmm? That's it. And where is the file of Uzjil? And the file who? Taqdeeruhu Anta. In Amr, no? When you say Izhab, that means you go. You go. Where is the you? Anta is Wajib. Yani taqt, uh, yani muqaddar Wajib. It has to be hidden now, permanently. You can, you can never say, uh, like, idha banta. You can never say that. I mean, it's not called file. That, that anta is just for emphasis. Oh, so this shawa min sadri ghayrika bi qal'ati min sadrika. Oh, so hasada yasidun. Is to have jealousy. Or harvest. Hasada. Hasad is a scene. Yeah, this is harvest. Harvest. That is cut off. Uh, uh, mow, mow off, mow, you know, mow the evil from your from the hearts of others. Be kala by removing. Kala is also removing means sadrika. So if you want to remove, you know, evil from your other hearts, remove it from your heart. Okay. So oh, so this shara mafulnbi is here, and this oh, so this amr no so. File is hidden. Damir. That's it. Addat Zainab salah. Zainab performed a salah. Or offered a salah. So Zainab is the file. Yeah, fine. Khudi al-kitab. Naif file is al-kitab. The book was read. U qibal musi. He was punished. The evil person was punished. Musi. This is naif file. Musi. Ihdif al-fa'ila min al-jumil taliya wa jal mafoola naiban anu. So you have to make active verbs into passive. Akal tu tuffahata. I ate the apple. Very simple. Ukila to Fahatu. So Akala, you'll make it Ukila. All this we've done in Madina Book 3, Lesson 3, I believe. Right? Lesson 3 or 2, 2 or 3. Book 3. We have a lot of exile. If you don't know this, you should do Madina books. Huh? Don't come to this book. Okay, let oh yeah, okay, let to fahatu. Okay, let we'll make it feminine. The apple was eaten. Alim tul khabara. I learned the lesson or news, sorry. <laughs> so make alim to. As ulima, we'll delete the two, right? We'll delete the two and make this passive ulima. Ulima al khabaru and make it madfu because this is naif. The news was known. Jama'at tu hadhil ma'lumati min kutub al I gathered these information from the language books. So jumi'at hadhil ma'lumatu. This will become jumi'at. We'll give jumi'at. We'll make it feminine. Because Malumat no Gayakal Jama. Jumiat Hadil Malumatu min Kutubiluga. This this information was gathered from the languages book. Alamani Ali Yunit Vajiba. Ali taught me the duty. Vajib. The for whatever responsibility Vajib. A homework. You can say Vajib as homework also. So Alamani no. So what you'll do is you'll delete Ali first because he's the file and we don't need files when you make him passive. So, and this ya will become tu. Ullim tu wajibu. A wajiba. Yeah. Ullim tu wajiba. Ullim tu al wajiba. Because there are two mafulin bees here. This is mafulin bee number one and two. So this will remain as it is. You'll change the ya to tu as an I file. Ullim tu wajiba. Adda ali unil wajiba. Ali performed the homework. So uddiya. Uddiya al wajibu. Uddiya. We'll make it Uddiya. Da file and a naive file and a mafool and be fill mechanical khali minal jumal. You have to fill in the blank. Shuri bal ma'u. Water was drunk. Yahtadi muttali bul ustada. The student respects the ustad. 
كتب المدرس الدرس the teacher wrote the lesson تعلم ال وعلمه غيره تعلم ال learn what تعلم learn تعلم الدرس learn the lesson and teach it to others غيرك apart from you وتنزه في منتنز منتزه الأمة I don't know what it means. Tanazaha. Stay away. Nazuha yanzu to be far. Tanazaha. To be far away. Tanazahu. Muntanaz. Muntazahi. Intazaha yantazu. Muntazaha. Oh, this is to take a walk, no? تنزه تنزه فاطمة في منتزه الأمة take a walk I guess تنزه of the Ummah's what? walker park Ummah's park تنزه فاطمة because it's not family, so. Tanazahu, ya tanazahu. So, it should be tatanazahu. Yeah, they deleted one ta, I guess. So, tatanazahu Fatima. So, Fatima took a walk in the park of the Ummah. Ummati. Okay. Waida khudiya al-Qur'anu. Fastami'u lahu wa ansitu. They gave fill in the blanks in the Qur'an. When the Qur'an is recited, then listen to it carefully and keep quiet. Salla hamidun fil masjid. Hamid prayed in the masjid. Okay, that's all about file and naif file. So remember all the rules. Naif file, all the rules, like when it is singular, when it is plural, and then when it is male, masculine, feminine rules, and when what's the order? Should it come first? Should it come second? Generally, any order is fine unless it is maksur. There should be no confusion ultimately. All right, Jazakallahu khairan. Can you delete the file and file here? Yeah? Can you delete it here? Yeah? So all these things. We'll come, inshallah, ta'ala. I mean, we've done all these things. Jazakallah khair. Next class, we'll do ninth lesson, which is Mubtada and Khabar. Marfu'at, no? Jazakallah khair. Barakallah khair. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Shalom la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka. Wa tubu ilaykum.